In John chapter number 19, I want us to listen now very carefully. In John chapter number 19, Jesus Christ makes this statement. Jesus says in John chapter number 19, He says, He says, this prince of this world is coming. But fear not, He has no hold in me. Let me say that again. Please note, Jesus recognizes the enemy. He says, this prince of this world is coming. But fear not, He has no hold on me. Are you there? Now, I want you to understand something. The enemy comes in two ways. Please, if you have not listened to anything I've said up to now, this was the point of where I wanted to get to tonight. You have to listen to now. The enemy comes in two ways. He comes in an opportune time and he comes where there's been access granted. Jesus says, the prince of this world is coming, but fear not, he has no hold in me. The first thing I want you to see here, Jesus makes the statement based on his identity, which is reflected in his obedience. Come on, are you guys okay? He lived the life in obedience based on his identity. Since his identity was birthed out of a place of constantly understanding who he is, which drove him to a place of obedience. When the disciples were sleeping, Jesus was praying. Come on guys, are you okay? If we are citizens of another kingdom, we are, it's necessary for us to act different. Oh, I don't know if I'm talking to myself here. But if I'm a citizen of this world and this world is all that there is and this is the final authority, then I can just as well live like this world. No, this world is not the final thing. It is not the final authority. And so what the enemy does, he does two things. Please listen to me carefully. He gets agreement and then he accesses. Or two, he comes at an opportune time. Let me use Samson just as an example. The enemy waited for Samson to be tired and when Samson was tired, the enemy struck. The difference between the Old and the New Testament is this. The Old Testament, the Spirit came upon. The New Testament, the Spirit of the Lord is within. Are you with me? And so as the Spirit of the Lord is within you, the Holy Spirit will never leave you because He's a permanent indweller. You cannot make Him leave. Come on guys, are you okay? But you can be influenced as you sit here tonight. You cannot be possessed if you are a believer, but you can most definitely be oppressed. And what I'm trying to get you over tonight is this, is this, as I've studied people and I've studied myself and I've studied the um, many patterns, I've seen that there is certain patterns that recur again and again and again and again. Unless a, a somebody stands up that are anointed by God, instructed by the Lord, and breaks the cycle. Come on, guys. And so Jesus says, and I believe Jesus is our perfect theology. So our example is, don't be like this, be like Jesus. Jesus is the perfect theology. So Jesus makes a statement. He says, the prince of this world is coming. Fear not, he has no hold in me. In other words, there's nothing in me that agrees with what, is, what he there's nothing in here that agrees with him. Okay, I want to take you, please listen to me carefully because I, I, I'm trying to produce understanding in your heart. The first challenge Jesus gets with the enemy is what he worships. The enemy comes to Jesus. He says, come. He says, if you bow down, and worship me. I will give you the kingdoms of this world. Right? By the way, when I said come, that's just to get the story across. Je the enemy appears, Satan appears to Jesus and he says, bow down and worship me. If you worship me, I give you the kingdoms. Jesus makes this statement. He says, you will worship the Lord your God. And then he says, and then the Bible says that the devil left him. To come back when? Another opportune time. Come on guys, are you okay? When they wanted to push Jesus off the cliff, the enemy was trying to do something. 
Jesus says, it's not my time. He walks right past. Come on, guys. Are you okay? Are you listening to what I'm saying? Every time the enemy wanted to cut the purpose of Jesus short, Jesus just says, not my time. He just walks past. It tells me that as you're seated here tonight, there is a timeline to your life and there's not a devil in hell that can stop the time and the purpose of your life. Come on, guys. And so you must be able to discover it. It's, it's so important. And as I said, I wanted to get two things across. The kingdom of God is energized by faith. Whenever there's a person of faith, the kingdom of God gets energized. Because somebody believes God. The opposite is true as well. When there's fear, the kingdom of darkness gets energized. Come on, are you there? And the kingdom of darkness is a tormenting kingdom. Come on, the Bible says that I've not given you a spirit of fear, but one of love, power, and a sound mind. Sound mind. The word sound mind there is the is the Hebrew or the Greek word symphonio. And it means to be in simple synergy with the Lord. 